Title for Lover, this Creative Matai docu-series presentation is for UU204, Semester 2, 2024. I have chosen question four, which is on highlighting the challenges of globalization on my Pacific community in relation to health. My topic specifically is on the challenging impacts of globalization on lifestyle diseases or NCDs in Samoa and some recommendation. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Talafa Lava, this docu-series presentation is on a pressing issue affecting Samoa and the Pacific. The impacts of globalization and the rise of non-communicable diseases or NCDs. As you can see, the rise of obesity and lifestyle-related health issues is evident with many of our communities surrounded by takeaway shops offering cheap, processed foods. NCDs include diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, and heart disease, often linked to lifestyle choices and dietary habits. These conditions are now at critical levels in Samoa, prompting urgent action and reflection. But there's hope. Historically, Samoans thrived on subsistence agriculture and traditional practices. Let's take a look at some healthier alternatives. In the past, our diets consisted of organic, locally grown foods like taro, breadfruit, and fresh fish. These practices not only nourished our bodies, but also fostered a deep connection to our land and culture. When we engage in activities like fishing, weaving, and community building, we also embrace a lifestyle that promotes physical health and wellness. However, the landscape is changing with globalization, the availability of imported foods has increased. Our traditional diets are increasingly replaced by cheap, high calorie options. Alongside this shift, technological advancements including smartphones, cars and televisions have contributed to more sedentary lifestyles. While these innovations bring convenience, they also encourage inactivity, leading us away from the active lifestyles our ancestors once lived. The consequences are alarming. NCDs are rising rapidly in Samoa, placing an immense burden on our healthcare system. With chronic illnesses requiring ongoing treatment, our healthcare resources are strained. We must confront this issue before it becomes an unmanageable crisis. So, how can we reduce NCDs in Samoa? First, we need policy changes that prioritize health, healthy living. This includes regulating fast food outlets and promoting access to fresh local produce. Educational initiatives should raise awareness about the benefits of traditional diets and active lifestyles. By encouraging indigenous practices like subsistence farming and communal activities, we can create healthier environments. The road ahead may be challenging, but together we can reclaim our health and heritage. Let's unite as a community to foster a healthier Samoa one step at a time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful content. Share your thoughts and experiences with us in the comments below. Together, we can make a difference.